The International Criminal Court in The Hague has issued arrest warrants for Vladimir Putin and his Children's Rights Commissioner. The court's pre-trial judges assessed there are reasonable grounds to believe the Russian president bears responsibility for the unlawful deportation of Ukrainian children. This is considered a war crime. For more on this developing story, let's go to our correspondent, Fernand Von Tetz. Fernand, tell us more about the court's announcement today. So reports had been swirling for a few days that the first um, arrest warrants were going to be issued. Um, but that they were going to be this high, this high level, that is, of course, a little bit of a surprise, both for the president and his commissioner for children. Now, this is for crimes committed as of 24th of February last year, which is, of course, the date of the invasion of Ukraine. Um, now, a U.S.-backed report by Yale University said as many as 6,000 children have been deported to Russia for re-education in as many as 43 different sites. Uh, the president is now facing an arrest warrant for his involvement or the fact that he f um, did not stop his subordinates from being involved in this. Now, Karim Khan, the ICC prosecutor, had during four visits to Ukraine indicated that the um, children was something that he was looking into, as well as a huge damage to civilian infrastructure. Um, but now the judges seem to have found enough evidence uh, to actually uh, issue these arrest warrants, and the ICC president actually called it a big moment in the investigation that these warrants have been issued. Now, Moscow has said that it does not recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC. So what can the court do? Well, this is one of the big challenges, and the IC president said it in his statement accompanying this um, release. He said, you know, we can issue these warrants, but it is up to member countries to enforce them. Now, of course, Russia is not even a member of the court, nor is Ukraine. The ICC is only looking into these crimes because Ukraine requested them to do so. But, I mean, the past history of the court has shown that just issuing an arrest warrant, that doesn't mean much. I mean, if you look at someone like Omar Bashir, who was the president of Sudan at the time of his first arrest warrant in 2008, another one in 2010, he has still not been handed over to the court, despite being deposed in his own country. So it really is up to member states to enforce this. And of course, if you're looking at, you know, Putin wasn't exactly jetting around to visit uh, places where member states would be open to enforcing this. But of course, it could limit his, um, his movement, his, his space of travel. Uh, he'll have to stick to allies more and he'll have to be careful how he routes his plane in the future. Fernand Van Tet in uh, Amsterdam, thank you so much for helping us understand this.